you just put into words what that victory, that result means to you and the squad? Um, I could probably dance what it means to me. I don't think I could uh, put it into words, but you know, ultimately the boys worked so hard this season. I've said it a number of occasions, we've been our own worst enemy, letting games slip away. Today we came here, we wanted it more. Um, you know, Staff and say are a quality, quality side, and we knew we had to be on the money. And there's guys in this team that can deliver a performance, and we did that. And how significant is that going to be in the building process of this squad getting back into the top tier of Europe? Oh, huge. You know, I mean, We've got to take the joy of the victory today, but it starts all afresh in, in, in two, well, four months time, something like that. Guys got to rest up, we've got to hit the ground running. I think this marks the end of the recovery and transition phase. It's now to start you know, doing ourselves justice. And how keen are this group of boys to write their own European headlines? Oh, 100%. You know, we can't harp on about what used to, what used to happen uh, at London Wash. You know, I think I'm the only remaining guy left of that team. It's, um, it's a totally different setup. New players, new players coming in, very exciting signings. Look, we want to be up there playing against San Francisco more, you know, more often. You know, the fans stuck with us. Uh, I think it's the biggest game we've played in five years. Um, you know, the support's been invaluable. Listen, if we can get there, um, if we can get more people down to Adams Park cheering louder, coming away on away games, we'd love it. The boys respect it, and uh, you know, you're the reason we do well.